you like Caravan? Do you also like cats? Well, come on down to the Crimson Caravan for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We are hosting a caravan tournament with a prize pool of 20,000 caps, open to anyone. Entry fee is 500 caps, so wander down to our state-of-the-art, cheap-proof establishment and believe in the heart of the cards. Terms and conditions apply. We are not responsible for your death. I don't believe it. Is that my old friend? Hey, Ringo, how's it been? Hey there, friend. Got any plans, Ringo? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. Speaking of caravan, I heard there was a caravan tournament going on, but unfortunately, I don't know the first thing about how to play. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Sounds great to me! Let's d d d d do a card game! Sorry, I, I have a bit of a stutter. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Are aces good? I assume they are. Put a few aces in here. Does it matter what brand they are? Because I got stuff from the Tops, from Gamora, from the Sierra Madre, from my time there. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of cards here. A lot of cards here. And I like the, fa <laughs> I like the faces on some of these cards. Uh, okay, we'll add a few of these. Ah, oh, look at that one. <laughs> that one's pretty well drawn. Eh, some great looking cards. I love them. Ooh, this Gamora card. Look at that, Jack. That's very nice. All right, so we need to make caravan stacks between 22 and 26, say. Uh, we'll start off with an ace here. You know, lure him into a false sense of security. I only got one, one point, oh no. And then, hit him with a curveball. Ha ha, I got two points on my second stack. And you think, oh, okay, there's a pattern for him here. Nope, four points on this stack. And, oh, oh, okay, there, at zero points it is, I guess. Uh, seven points, and then a, a, a queen here. What does that do? Didn't actually add any points. The queen didn't seem to... Alright, well, um... Uh, uh, none of these moves are valid. I don't know what I do with this card. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I lost? How did I lose? I don't... I don't understand the rules. Well, um... Thanks for the brief tutorial, but I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all right, I'll see you around. I hate this goddamn place. Uh, yes? I'll burn this uh, crap hole to the ground. You okay? What? What do you want? Mm, sorry, sorry. I'm not in a good mood right now. Why not? What's wrong? Some of my playing cards were stolen. Some really important ones. It's going to be difficult to win a game of Caravan without them. Were you practicing for the tournament, too? For the longest time, I was under the impression that nobody played Caravan. We have to do something around here to pass the time, and we're limited on options. We throw rocks at tin cans, complain about the weather, and play Caravan. That's it. Why don't you play other card games? Like Poker, Go Fish, or Euchre? I've never even heard of that last one. Pretty sure you made it up. Look, we can't play proper card games because nobody around here has a full deck. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get all 52 cards out here? And even when we do get a complete set, it doesn't last long, as people inevitably steal the best cards for their caravan deck. Ah, I, I, I guess that'd be a problem, yeah. Maybe you just misplaced your cards? No, only the important cards are missing. I still have all my crappy number cards, but you better believe I'm short a few kings. Number cards are crappy, but kings aren't. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for them. Thanks, but they didn't have any distinguishing markings, so you wouldn't be able to tell them from any other playing cards. I'll just have to buy some replacements from the traveling merchants. Not unless I get to them first! Excuse me, you seen any cards? Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Ah, uh, yes, Nelson. That was a while ago. Hey! Glad you're with us. Uh, thank you. How about you? Bye. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Yep. How about you? 
Hey, don't sneak up on a guy like that, asshole. Sorry. Why are you so jumpy? Why so many questions? What do you want? I'm, I'm just looking for some missing playing cards. And you're accusing me of stealing them. Is that it? No, you seem like an honest person. Damn right, I'm super honest. I rarely ever get court-martialed. Well, you should feel ashamed of yourself for stealing. Stealing is wrong. I didn't steal shit, and you can't prove it. Besides, there's just one thief in the NCR, and everybody else is just trying to get their shit back. I've heard that before. How much are those stolen cards worth to you? That depends. How much you got? Haha! -ha! So you did steal them! No, I didn't. You you said I... Shit. I got a witness right there. Look, I only took the sixes and, and a few kings. That's all. With these cards, I'll be unstoppable. What do you mean you'll be unstoppable? Look, you can put whatever cards you want in your caravan deck, so I'm loading mine down with sixes and tens. It's an unbeatable strategy. Is it sixes and tens? How are sixes and tens useful? The goal of the game is to make stacks of cards whose value is between 21 and 26. So I build each of my stacks with a 10, a 6, and a king. 21, 26. Mm. Wait, why a king? Kings can double any number card. Double the 6 and pair it with a 10. Double the 10 and pair it with a 6. Either way, it completes the stack. Oh, right. I knew that. So, add kings to your own cards and add jacks to the opponents. Jacks are good too, then. Yeah, asshole. A jack removes one of your opponent's cards. The game isn't just about building your own caravans. It's about sabotaging others. Oh. Uh, what about queens? Are those good? Queens are fucking garbage. Absolutely useless. Never use them. Okay, never use queens. Number cards are bad. I'm telling you, load your deck with those four cards. Tens, sixes, kings, and jacks. It works 100% of the time. Every time. Six, ten, jack, king. Okay, okay. Uh, give me back the stolen cards, or I'll tell everybody about your strategy. All right, all right. Take them. Just keep this between you and me, okay? <laughs> you got it, friend. Thanks. What? <laughs> uh, want to play some caravan? Get a little practice in? Hell no. You know my strategy now, and you'd probably use it against me. You would pull some kind of shit like that, wouldn't you? That's what I'd do. <laughs> I, I would never. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's bring these cards back. Hey, yo. What? Uh, I couldn't find your stolen cards. Adds them to my own deck. Eh, Caravan is a stupid game anyway. Can't believe anyone takes it too seriously. Yeah. Thanks for looking, though. See you around. Yeah, Caravan's a terrible game. Alright, a few more cards for my deck. Some sixes and some kings. That might give me a bit of an edge, yes! Nice job out there. Thank you. I did pilfer those cards quite expertly. To the tournament I go! <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now, Ringo. Hey, I challenge you to a rematch! So all these low number cards can be removed. Keep the sixes. Add the sixes. Why did you... Wait, why did you overburden your own caravan? Yes, it's worth more points now, but it's it's too many points. That's the, Ringo, do you know how to play this game? I'm beginning to think nobody knows how to play this game. I guess this will make this 26 and I'll win. Oh, okay. I know how to play caravan now. Haha, <laughs> suck it. I'll see you around. All right, thanks for the caps. I think I broke it even, so yay, all right. Wait a second. You were keeping cards in your hat the entire time! I feel pretty good about myself. I beat Ringo, and he's obviously a filthy cheater. Hello. A little, little dark. Hey there. There you go. You want to play some caravan? Who are you? I'm Ben Banan, the best caravan player in the West. Does that mean you'll be joining the tournament? These guys think I'm a filthy cheat. They just can't accept I'm simply better than everyone else. Ugh. Why are you still here then? Well, they never said I had to leave, you know. I just want to see who comes out as the winner. Maybe help myself to some free coffee while I'm at it. What's your next step? 
probably gonna go south. Get out of the Mojave before these Legion guys push past the river. Maybe find some mercenary work. The usual, really. I wouldn't worry too much about the Legion. I don't think they even know how to play Caravan. But I've already proven I can best one filthy cheater. Would you like to play around? I'm gonna roll you over. I wonder if I can double the 8 twice. Does that mean it's gonna go up to 24? No! It, it, no, it, it quadrupled! It's not a times 3 multiplier, it's a times 4 multiplier! Oh, I've screwed myself! Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm still learning, I'm not great at this. Rematch! I can do this, go for 26, besting him there, I can best him here, hey, there you go! All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm getting better and better with each passing hand. Hello? Hi, are you here for the tournament? Uh, so how did you get this job? Not much of a story. Henry Jameson mentioned the caravan tournament and I told him I could organize it if he gave me the funds. Mix in some whiskey into the conversation and here we are. Alice McLafferty showed up at some point and tried to stop it, but at that point all the gaps had been invested or missing. Ah, these events must have transpired a while ago, because she's dead now. Anyway, sign me up for the tournament. Great! The entry fee is 500 caps, non-refundable of course. We've only got one spot left, so I hope you have that much. You say caps or caps? Because I, I, I've got a lot of caps, but I've only got a few caps, and Adam Benson is dead and won't give me more. Can you let me in for free? I won't tell anybody. Sorry, no can do. We're barely covering the cost as it is. Very well, this is chump change to me anyway. Thank you very much. Let me just write down your details and you can go down to the waiting room. Just down that hatch over there and to the left. The hatch? Okay. Good luck! Thanks, I'm gonna need it. I'm pretty awful at this. Ooh, this is fancy. This guy looks a bit shabby. Hello, friend. How are you? Looks like the war's ratcheting up. I hear the NCR's bringing in elite troops. Who cares about the war? It's time for cards! Why are we all clapping for an empty table? I'm, I'm guessing that's where we're gonna play cards, but it's weird that you're all clapping for an empty table. Uh, <laughs> not a lot of people here, so we have some cardboard cutouts. That's, that's pretty funny. How you doing? No, none to say? Alright, very well, very well. Hey there! So what do I do now? How do I participate? You've got a little bit more time, so you can read up on your next opponent on that terminal over there on the wall. Oh, okay. Or you can head right on the arena, and of course try to win. Here's a deck in case you don't have one, and good luck! More cards? You're too kind. I'm too lazy to look at the terminal. Who is my opponent? Just some old creep by the name of Robert Hoves. Probably not much of a challenge. Good luck! It would behoove him to watch out for me! <laughs> Robert Hooves. He only has two wins and 11 losses. An old man, NCR contracted farmer. How in the world he scrounged up enough caps to enter the tournament is unknown. Deck and playstyle, unknown. Odds, pretty good in my favor. All right, let's begin. I'm ready, old man. Let's do it. Let's duke it out. You look familiar. Do I know you? Need anything? Are you my next opponent? The name's Robert. I'm an NCR farmer. But if I don't win this tournament, me and my family are going to have to go back to Arroyo. How did somebody like you get enough money to participate? Doesn't look like you'd have 500 caps lying around. No offense. No offense taken, youngster. I put most of our savings into this. The crops haven't been doing too good lately, so this is our last chance to stay in the Mojave. Ah, gambling with your family's future. I'm going to punish you for your hubris. You watch yourself out there, youngster. All right, let's cream the smile off your face. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 16th match of the first round. And today, we have the enigmatic courier. That's me, Courier 7. Catch 
shall be revealed in mere moments. Let's have a good game. Go easy on me, youngster. Nope. I, I forfeit. <laughs> Let's play. Good luck. You, um... Oh, do I... Okay, I'll ante up. I have put down 334,069 caps. Match it. You, you've got zero. You put zero on the table. All right, let's do it. And we'll double that, 10. I'm gonna do that, very well, very well, very well. I'll uh, put a six here. What, how'd I lose? How did I lose? Oh, Zach's gonna be mad I lost the last five years of savings. How did I lose though? And there you have it, everyone. The first round of the tournament is officially over. Um, and our last contestant to advance to the next round is the mellow Robert Hooves. Hmm. We'll be right back after a short break. I don't know how I lost that one. Uh. Hmm. Hey. Hey there. Yeah, I, uh. I lost my match. Oh, that's too bad. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. The waiting room is only for players. <laughs> asshole. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay, I got a time machine. I was too focused on building my caravan, and not focused enough on sabotaging his. He starts first, he gets to play the first card. I need to focus on dealing with that. He's got a 25 and a 23, he's looking real good. In that case, I'll have to put a double on that one. Haha, <laughs> 35. Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. I bet it does. 26 here. There you go. <laughs> ah, choke on it. I win. <laughs> and there you have it, everyone. The first round of the tournament is officially over. Sorry about your dead family. And our last contestant to advance to the next round is, unsurprisingly, our lucky Cory. It's me, I'm a god. We'll be right back after a short break. Yeah, I got the power of anime and time travel on my side. No one can best me. Hope you're enjoying my victory. Don't tell anybody I'm cheating by using a time traveling machine. <laughs> oh, nice hat, Mr. Announcer. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, who are you? I'm the announcer. Only one person like me, and that's me. Is you, Do you have a name? I go by The Announcer, capital T and A, and don't you forget that. That's pretty stupid, but people call me The Courier, so who am I to complain? What's with the birthday hat? You gotta dress the part, man. If you don't look good, you might as well not bother. That's my number one life motto. Fair enough, style is important. You wanna play a hand of caravan? An ace? This idiot put down an ace as his first move! Oh my gosh. That is classic mistake. Classic! Is, does he have nothing but aces in his deck? I, okay, this guy has nothing but aces in his deck. Oh, never mind, take it back, he's got a king. Uh, take it back, he's actually got cards. Not great cards, just aces and kings. Oh my god, he's got nothing but aces and kings! <laughs> That's hilariously stupid. <laughs> Oh god, the strategy of using king is against me! It actually worked! Damn! He's just doing nothing but putting kings on his own- This is- This is not a winning strategy! I'm sorry, my friend, this is not a winning strategy! He's just putting kings on aces, so he gets one, two, four, six, eight- He's not gonna actually make a- Okay, that's weird, but whatever. I'll put a ten here, but he's gonna put a king on my cards- I knew it! What an asshole! How do I beat this guy? He's got nothing but sabotaging moves. None of us can win. Do we just go until we run out of cards? Is that what we do? He's got more cards in his deck than I do. Okay, things are working out well for me. Don't sabotage me, don't sabotage me, don't sabotage me. He's not sabotaging me. I'm winning, I'm winning. I've won. Must have run out of kings. <laughs> All right, I beat the announcer, I beat the announcer. I want to announce to the world that I beat the announcer! And he wasn't actually an opponent that I needed to beat, so I didn't actually gain anything from that, but I beat him! It's a moral victory, I would say. Hello. How'd your match go? It went great! I won! 
Looks like that old geezer didn't stand a chance. Now just wait until your next match. <laughs> I definitely didn't lose when the odds are 500 to 1 in my favor. I mean, could you imagine, honestly? Your second match is against Mary Barrington, a follower of the Apocalypse. Probably a lot smarter than your last opponent. Oh, okay. I can deal with that, I think. Let's see here. Mary Darrington. Five wins, five losses. Follower of the Apocalypse. Don't know why I had to put female in there. I mean, seems weird. Impatient, looks determined to win. Seemingly random deck, average ability. <laughs> random deck? That's no strategy for success. <laughs> odds, not as good in my favor. Maybe it's the odds that were against... Ah, whatever. All right, time for the next formal match. Let's begin. And we are back after a short break. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day or night. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I've been in the cellar for way too long. <laughs> Anyways, up next we have the lovely Mary Darrington versus the courier who's been causing quite a stir in the betting odds today. It's me. So you're my opponent. Before we start, I have something to tell you. Okay. What do you want to tell me? I'm here with the followers of the Apocalypse. The prize money would be very beneficial to helping people in the Mojave. That's why I must ask you to let me win our game. I know it's a big favor, but I'll make sure you're properly rewarded. There's no need to worry. You and I share the same goal. To spread healing across the Mojave and beyond its borders to the greater world. Then you see why one of us forfeiting is the better option? Well, I, I am better at Caravan, so it's only logical I am the one who goes ahead in the tournament, and you are the one who forfeits. I don't like it, but you do bring up a good point. Fine, I forfeit. You better win this tournament, however. <laughs> All right! That's it, folks. That's the match over and done with. Some daring plays from both sides, but the courier uh, is victorious. Uh, I hope that's not steam coming out of her ears, but judging from her circumstances, I'd say it's anger rather than our frequent companion called radiation. <laughs> yeah, all right. That was the easiest card game I ever played. <laughs> I'm not actually going to give any money to the followers. I lied. I'll probably give her a few caps. I'll stop on by and drop a gold bar, ruin the local economy. It's what I do. Hey there. I won my match by way of technicality. Nice. You know the drill. Just have a seat until your next one. Can do. Sleeping on a stool now. Yawn. Hey, what's up? Hey there. I'm ready for the next match. Your third match is against some kid named Steve Kaczynski. I wouldn't underestimate him, though. He's supposed to be a prodigy or something. Kaczynski? More like... I can't actually make a pun with that last name. It's, it's pretty obtuse. Steve Kaczynski. It must be Polish. Wins 17, but only one loss. Teenage Caravan Prodigy. What a title. Acts nervous and withdrawn. He has a jack-heavy deck. Prefers battles of attrition rather than quick, decisive victories. So, he's gonna sabotage me non-stop, is he? Hello, everybody, and welcome to our fourth quarter-final match! I'm ready. We have quite the exceptional matchup today with the fan favorite, Steve Kaczynski, against the Dark Horse Courier. I'm the Dark Horse? We Will the established champion win, or will there be an upset in the predicted odds? I will win. G good luck. Some people call you a prodigy. Would you agree with that sentiment? I, I guess. Ever since I, I started playing, everyone kept saying I'm really good. Do your parents know that you've signed up for this tournament? Yeah. They're the ones who made me participate. Actually, I suspected as much. You look pretty young. How long have you been playing? Uh, a couple of years now. I picked it up when my dad was playing it with his buddies. It looks like you're suffering from stress-induced anxiety. I think you should drop out of the tournament. For your own mental health. I, I can't do that. They would... <sighs> Maybe you're right. 
I'll, I'll forfeit and hope for the best. Looks like we have a bit of an upset in this wonderful tournament. As the fan favorite, Steve is knocked out only the quarterfinals. <laughs> Can we get a round of applause for this mysterious courier who's coming out of nowhere and swept us all with an incredible plot twist no one saw coming? It is my goal to beat this card tournament playing the fewest hands of cards as possible. <laughs> How'd your match go? It was a resounding success in that I beat him in a card game I didn't have to play. The brat got what was coming to him then. Good job. Now just hang out until your next match. Seems a bit mean to call him a brat, but all right, I know the drill. Look at the stool, fade to black, unfade to black, and then the next round. Hey! Hey there! I'm ready for the semi-finals, the penultimate round before the finals. The semi-finals already, huh? Keep it up. Your next match is a bit of a surprise. You'll see what I mean when you play it. <laughs> it, you say? Ugh. I mean, you say it's a surprise, but I'm gonna look it up on the terminal right now. Kaz, but with one S, eh? Three wins, but zero losses. How the hell did this thing even get down here? I swear no one even registered it to be in this tournament. Deck and play style. Small amount of cards in deck, but all of the same suit. Ooh, calculated plays. Yeah. Odds two to nine. Are those good in his favor or mine? I don't know. I don't know. All right. What are we looking at here? What am I betting? What the hell is this? It's a tight little robo brain with a hat on it. <laughs> All right, buddy, how are you doing? Please have a seat. Okay. How's it going, you wonderful humans? I hope you're ready for one of the best matches of your lives. Since now, we have the courier that defeated the prodigy of Caravan, the Steve Man himself. And on the other side of the table, we have perhaps our honest contest, a miniature robo-brain, which has caused much outrage, but no one bothered to check if it was allowed. Take it away, <laughs> contestants! All right. <laughs> Are you prepared for the match? Uh, you've got Cast 003 written on your chassis. Does that mean there are more robots like you? That is correct. My creator has built many robots designed to learn common games from around the globe. The list includes 45 card games, 31 casino games, 76 board games, 22 physical games, and 7 other miscellaneous games. I bet you can't play Euchre. Who funds all these robots? Seems like a waste of resources to use on playing some games. That information is confidential. I am permitted to divulge that Dr. Darwin's work is important for the future of mankind. <laughs> Darwin, eh? <laughs> All right. Where did you get your robo-brain? I am the Caravan Assessment System, designed to learn and improve at Caravan. I am here to play against the best players in the Mojave and upgrade my processing patterns. On activate player pod. <laughs> That's actually a command in the, uh, in the New Vegas Ascension. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm ready. Let's play. Yes. Six. You put down a six. We're all putting down sixes now. Yep, lots of sixes. Here's a curveball. I'm putting down a ten. Oh, I didn't see that coming, did you? No, you didn't. Oh, you've already made a stack, have you? You've already made a perfect stack. Be ashamed if somebody sabotaged that. <laughs> and then you repaired it immediately. Very well, very well. I'm obviously underestimating you. Get rid of the seven. Ooh, you're one card away from winning, I see. Lest I were able to do this. And back up. Dang, you are resilient. All right, get rid of that nine. All right, all right. Um, hmm, I'm kind of going to lose one, aren't I? Yeah, kind of lost that one. And our robotic friend continues to dominate all of its matches. The cold caravan killer keeps on crushing their opponents. And our lovely courier is no different. Will we see the mechanical menace decimate the finals, or will old Cobra stop this beast in its tracks? Stay tuned for the next match, folks. All right, Hope. You know what to do. Leave no witnesses. Yeah. Watch out! Yeah. Watch out. Everyone dies. No one saw me lose caravan. No one. Are you prepared for the match? On activate player mod PC miscellaneous stat caravan games one. Set to number one. 
Computing. Converting command to R BIOS 4.02.08.0052E5.T7.T8. Executing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! This match was more than just a simple card game. It was a showdown between the new and the old. Technology versus humanity. And humanity came out on top. And with that, we are on to the finals, where we will see the best of the best in a struggle for ultimate dominance over this sport. All right, considering how awful I've been at this game so far, not feeling good about my chances. And I'm back. Did you win your match? You better believe I did. Looks like you had no trouble against that rusty bucket of bolts, eh? As far as you know. Have a seat and get ready for the finals. Of course, of course. Is this seat taken? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sitting here. All right. Hey there. I'm ready for the finals. Already at the finals, huh? Yes. I'll warn you right now. Your last opponent is one mean son of a bitch. Marshal Fabish. A ghoul, even. Goes by the name of Old Colba. Personally, I'm rooting for you, but don't let anyone else hear that. Colba is his name, is it? Let's see what strategy he has. 100, that's a lot of wins, 107. Old Ghoul, who's been playing Caravan for decades. Has, has this game even existed for decades? Jeez. Most likely the most experienced Caravan player in the Mojave. A large amount of cards, destroys opposition's composition with jacks, and moves in for a quick win. Yeah, I wish I had more jacks in my deck. It feels like the best chance of winning this game is whoever's got the most jacks and kings. And I, I don't have nearly enough of those. Seven of clubs, two of clubs. I mean, I'll take them, but I mean, I need, I need. Oh, oh, oh! Another jack. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so there are cards hidden around here. Look around for the good cards. Look around for the good cards. Where are they hiding? Where are they hiding? Ooh, a blue star bottle cap. Fancy. Hello there. Maybe underneath the couch cushions. Ten of di ten of diamonds. Yeah. All right, we got some good cards here. We got some good cards here. And some bad cards, but, you know, we can just ignore them. We got good cards, too. Nine of hearts. Oh, oh, no. I knocked over the entire thing. Uh, oh, there's some good cards here. All right, and no one minds if I take these, right? Good, 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 good. Lots of good cards. Lots of good cards. Card cabinet? Oh, my goodness. How to play caravan. <laughs> Jax. Oh, my Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Another one. That's a five. Who cares about that? Oh, uh, excuse me. That was very rude of me. Oh, king of hearts. Yeah, another king. All right. I should have been looking for cards a lot earlier. All right. I think that's as good as we're going to get here. Um, so you're my partner. Hey, you're looking pretty good for an old guy. Finalist. Gotta hand it to you. You've made it this far. But your luck ends right here. Who are you anyway? I've only heard rumors. Who am I? Only the best caravan player in this sorry desert. The real question is, who are you? Just some sorry courier who had a lucky break. I was there when Caravan was invented, you inbred whelp. Jeez. And you demand to know who I am. <laughs> All right, jeez. What do you plan to do with the prize money? The money? Probably nothing. What matters to me is winning the game, crushing my opponent, and savoring the moment. That is more important to me than any paltry sum of caps. I suppose I can't convince you with a barter check or a survival check. All right, let's begin the match. The quicker we do, the faster we can get this over with. So far, my strategy has been put down a six and a 10, then put a king on the 10 to get 26. 
a good strategy. But when I have my king stacked on my card, he can double up that card and screw me. I think I might actually want to have nines in my deck as well. It means that most of my hands will only total 25, but it also means I'll be more difficult to sabotage. And of course, a jack here, a jack there, a jack here. Good stuff. And look at that jack! How could I not how could I not use that jack? <laughs> and the king, hey, it's the king. He's actually a playing card. Nice. And President Kimball, there you go. And a Gamora King. That one looks familiar. Have I seen that king before? Ah, oh, whatever. Nine on the field. Okay, no more nines in the field. Nine on the field. Okay, never mind. Just sabotage your card there. Another jack, we'll go ahead and remove that. Five from the field. All right, and now we're gonna start putting cards on the field after sabotaging each other. Okay, never mind. I guess we're just gonna sabotage each other no matter the cost. No one's allowed to play the game. The six here, and I think you've got nothing but jacks in your hand. I think whatever card I put down, you're gonna remove. You've got nothing but jacks in your hand. What a dick. Here we go, 26. And you've doubled up mine. Yep, I kinda saw that coming. Yep, I can't put kings on my own because then you'll immediately try to screw me. Up to 26, and of course you immediately sabotage me. That's why I can't put kings on my own. That's why I can't do it. And then I'll put a 10 on top of this. It gives me the 25, and then you double that up. Nope, not if I remove that. These are my last four cards, unfortunately. I hope the game is gonna be over soon. We'll double up that nine. Oh, you doubled up my doubled up nine. No, okay. Um, uh, not much I can do about that. I have completely run out of options as I have no cards left and the game is not yet over. And he has a caravan on the board and I do not. Oh, and then I lost because he has a caravan but I have got zero. Ah, uh, I had too many sixes in my deck. Ah, too many sixes. Oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen, what a terrific match we have just witnessed. A showdown of pure card skill, the likes of which has never been seen before. The ghoulish caravan master takes down his latest challenger with some truly <sighs> elaborate plays and emerges victorious. I hope you remember this day for the rest of your lives, ladies and gentlemen. What, you're not even going to shake my hand? No, no, are you coming on the table? He's not even going to shake my hand, Hope. Can you believe such... Poor sportsmanship. We cannot let somebody like that win. Put a nine here. Oh, you've doubled up my ten with the nine. Hmm. What if I double up my own ten? You keep on... I mean, that, that one's already a problem, so whatever. Go ahead and keep sabotaging that... I don't... You... Why do you keep sabotaging that track? It's already broken. Double up my own nine. <laughs> he's just he's just insulting me now. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Alright. I got a full caravan on two st <sighs> You <laughs> I I think I are you throwing? Are you throwing the game on purpose? I've I'm out I'm on my last card, sadly. Oh okay. Um I think this might actually be a, a draw. Because I don't think anyone can win with this hand. Uh, you say I lose, but neither of us have any caravans. Alright, here's what we're going to do, Cobra. I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to take your cards into the pass with me. And then I will be the one who has the most cards in his deck. And then you will be the one who runs out of cards. Yes! That is the strategy I'm going with! <laughs> All right, 89 cards in my deck. We'll run with this. Let's see here. And you're just immediately gonna start removing all my cards. That's your strategy, I see. Yep, that's all you're gonna do. Just be a giant asshole, yep. Oh, you've got a caravan yourself, I see. 
Unless I do this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now you gotta rework the whole stack. <laughs> Six. And you're like, no sixes. But I'm like, I really want a six. Can I have a six? And you're like, no sixes. But I'm like, I really want to put down a six right there. Oh, you are out. Oh, you're out of cards. Okay, I've got one caravan that hasn't been sabotaged by you yet. He's got a stack of 24 to mine 22 now. That's unfortunate. But I still won because he ran out of cards. Hey! We had a one to one score, but he ran out of cards. So it looks like I'm the winner now. You. You little worm. How dare you? You regret crossing me like this. Oh, he's getting angry, is he? Whoa, not for long. Ladies and gentlemen, what a perfect blend of skill and violence. After that battle of pure will on the table, we saw the contestants take it out onto the arena floor. And what a sight to behold. I implore you all to remember this for the rest of your lives i can guarantee there will never ever be an event like this again and probably not that, i will respectfully sign out and wish you all a wonderful life hey good night i suppose if you've dedicated your entire life to a children's card game losing at said card game might push you over the edge eh cobra and it looks like I've got two sets of his cards now. Hey, Mac, you see that climactic finish? Hey there. I clobbered Cobra. You really did it. Good job. Now you can call yourself a true caravan master. And of course, here's your prize money. And a little something extra for showing some impressive skills. I do have impressive skills, don't I? It's my lucky eight ball. I'm not superstitious, but I swear that thing helped me out of some sticky situations, and I think you've earned it. Goodbye! Probably forever, unless you have another card tournament. In which case, count me in! I will be among the participants! And Hope will be there, silently judging me. That, that's, that's how we're, it'll be. I can't wait for the second tournament. Let's make this an annual thing. It could be a lot of fun. Let nobody question my skills! I am the indisputable caravan master! The master of cards! And I've banished old Cobra to the Shadow Realm! And anyone who dares step to me will find themselves... Shelves... Will find themselves... Banished as well! Hiya! <laughs> to the Shadow Realm with you all!